Hey, um, so I was just getting some stuff exported from Vectorworks to MA, um, and it's actually been a while since I used the plugin for it. Um, so I thought I was screwing something up. Uh, what I was trying to do was export what I had and import it into my current punt file um, to start merging some things together. Um, I couldn't get it right, so I checked on the ACT website and was just looking through trying to figure out the syntax because every time I was trying to import it, it was saying that it would fail to import. Um, so I found the, the syntax uh, and it worked, but then it wiped out all of my existing layers, um, which I guess, you know, had I actually read the next line below, uh, I might have noticed that, but I didn't. So I was trying to figure out, well, what can I do to make this thing, you know, not wipe out everything I've already got? Um, and in the process, what I figured out um, was a, a little change to the XML file. Um, so I was actually referencing an old file I did, pardon the uh, file name, um, must have been a good festival. Uh, and to be honest, I don't know how I ended up with this version of this file. I don't know if, if uh, Vectorworks 2019 was exporting it a little bit differently. Um, but anyways, um, this is what I got. Um, and this actually, you know, it was definitely exported from Vectorworks. Um, Anyways, so I was looking at this, and I was looking at the file I was uh, working with, and I noticed that between the two, there's this extra layers, I'm going to call it a container, I don't know actually, I don't know XML terminology, but let's call it a container. Uh, it holds all of these things, so that makes sense. Um, this was not present in a file that apparently worked because I didn't have 15 revis revisions of it. So I uh, got rid of that, got rid of that and its matching tag at the bottom, and made this file, which is literally just those two lines deleted and then the rest of this unindented by one. Set that up uh, and from there I was able to import uh, as desired. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and revert to a before I got this to happen. Let's save. So just to show a quick comparison, I'm going to show what happens. Actually, I'll show what happens with the working version and then the not working version since it wipes everything out. So we're going to go to edit setup. We'll go into layers. All right, and you can see my existing layers here. So now I'm going to say import, and what was it? Punch redesign 01. Uh, I think that'll work. Oops, so that, that's the, sorry, that's the unchanged file. Uh, this was the changed file. All right, so I imported there, and honest, I'm not sure if I had to be in edit setup, but, um, so the revised file will add on these new layers to what I already had in there, which is great. Um, if I use the recommended syntax, uh, it will wipe out everything else. So again, that was the redesigned file, um, and you just saw me trying to import the exist the other one the same way that didn't have the edits and it failed to import. Um, I can also just try importing from here. Um, no change if I do that. If I just try to import that, still no change. It's going to keep failing to import. The only way this one will work is if I say at layers as recommended and then you can see that it wipes out all the rest of my layers. So uh, again, the syntax was, well, it wasn't just a syntax thing. First off, changing this line so we don't have this layers container, getting rid of that, and it's matching line all the way at the bottom here. Oops, just that guy. Uh, so save that as a separate file, and then go to edit setup, uh, change directory to layers, and then import, and I just used the next available layer number. So uh, 14 was the end of my existing layer, so I said import at 15, and there we go. Uh, so I just figured I'd share that. Uh, if there's a smarter way of doing this, somebody please let me know. Um, obviously, going in and having to edit XML files shouldn't be the default, um, but it was just the first thing that came to mind because of how much time I spend playing with XML lately. So uh, please let me know if there was a smarter way to do this, but figured I'd share that in case it helps somebody else out. Um, so there you go.